Picture this. You're sipping your morning coffee, scrolling through your phone, when suddenly, everything starts shaking. Your coffee spills, your cat flies off the couch, and your brain goes straight to panic mode. What just happened? Earthquake. Let's dig deep, literally, into the science of earthquakes. Earth isn't solid like you think. You might think of Earth as a giant solid rock, but it's actually more like a layered cake with a fiery filling. The outer layer, the crust, is broken into massive slabs called tectonic plates. These plates are constantly moving, floating around on the molten layer beneath like bumper cars on lava. Most of the time, these plates move so slowly you don't even notice, but when they get stuck and pressure builds up, boom, it's like snapping a rubber band. That sudden release of energy shakes the ground, and that's what we call an earthquake. It's not personal. It's just plate tectonics being dramatic. Where do earthquakes happen? Not everywhere. Earthquakes mostly occur along fault lines, places where two tectonic plates meet. The most famous one? The San Andreas Fault in California. Some countries experience earthquakes more frequently than others. Here are a few that sit right on top of major fault lines. Japan, one of the most earthquake-prepared countries in the world, and for good reason. It experiences hundreds of tremors every year. Indonesia, located on the Pacific Ring of Fire, it's no stranger to major quakes and tsunamis. Turkey, sitting between between the Eurasian and Arabian plates, Turkey often experiences powerful earthquakes. Mexico, home to several active fault lines, including those near Mexico City. Nepal, right in the collision zone between the Indian and Eurasian plates. Chile, known for some of the strongest quakes ever recorded, thanks to the Nazca and South American plate boundary. If you live in one of these countries, congratulations! You're basically dancing on Earth's pressure points. Also, fun fact, the Himalayas are still rising because the Indian plate is slamming into the Eurasian plate. That's right, the tallest mountains on on Earth are literally the result of a slow-motion collision. Nature doesn't rush, but it definitely hits hard. Not all earthquakes are created equal. Strike-slip faults happen when plates slide past each other horizontally. Think of two people awkwardly trying to squeeze past each other in a hallway. Normal faults are when one plate drops below another, kind of like one stair vanishing while you're walking down. Reverse faults are the opposite. One plate shoves upward, like an angry floor just decided to uppercut you. Each type causes different kinds of shaking, depending on how the crust moves. How do we measure earth earthquakes. You've probably heard of the Richter scale, but these days, scientists use the moment magnitude scale, which measures the actual energy released. A magnitude 3 might rattle your dishes. A magnitude 5 gets your heart pumping. A magnitude 7 or above? That's when buildings fall, highways crack, and yes, the scale is logarithmic. That means a magnitude 6 quake isn't just a little stronger than a 5, it's 10 times stronger. Earth doesn't mess around. Can we predict earthquakes? Short answer. Not yet. Long answer. Scientists are trying, but it's really hard. Earthquakes are like that one friend who never texts back, then suddenly shows up at your door with zero warning. We can tell where quakes are likely to happen, but not when. There are early warning systems in places like California and Japan that give people a few seconds to duck and cover. But that's about it. So no, you can't download an app that tells you when to evacuate. Not yet anyway. Researchers are even studying animal behavior. Some animals seem to sense quakes before they happen. Dogs bark, cats hide, and elephants get restless. Maybe the real earthquake detectors were our pets all along. After a big quake, don't relax just yet. Aftershocks can hit minutes, days, or even weeks later. They're smaller, but they can still cause serious damage. Foreshocks are like the opening act before the main event. Problem is, you usually don't know it's a foreshock until the real quake hits. Thanks, Earth. You can't stop earthquakes, but you can prepare. Secure bookshelves and heavy furniture. Know how to drop, cover, and hold on. Keep an emergency kit with water, snacks, flashlights, and extra phone chargers. Also, maybe don't hang a giant mirror above your bed. Just saying. Some schools and companies in quake-prone areas areas hold regular earthquake drills, where people practice hiding under desks. It might feel silly, but when the ground shakes, muscle memory helps. Could earthquakes get worse? Actually, yes. Some scientists warn that climate change and even human activities like fracking and deep drilling can trigger minor quakes in unexpected places. Plus, cities are getting bigger and more crowded, which means the human impact of quakes is greater than ever. Earthquakes are nature's way of reminding us that we live on a restless planet. The ground beneath us isn't still. It's alive, shifting, and sometimes, if throws a tantrum. So the next time you feel a tremor, remember, you're not just experiencing a random shake. You're witnessing the Earth doing its thing, violently. Drop your thoughts in the comments. We reply to every single one. The most liked comment might just become our next video. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more Earth-shaking science. See you in the next video.